Coach, let's talk about the upcoming season. First of all, let's talk about your team and how many kids you got out of the numbers up or down. Uh, right now we're sitting at about 50, which is up from last year. Uh, we'd like to keep them there, uh, but you know you get get those injuries sometimes. You get the kids that decide it's not for them. But we've recruited and we've got a, a good bunch of kids out. A lot of kids that haven't played for a couple years or or maybe since junior high. But we're excited to get kids back out and excited about football here in Goodland. You know, there's uh, there's two focuses I think usually for football teams, and particularly in Class 3A is the way the system set up and the playoff system set up. I mean, the conference race is important, but really it's all about the district and the playoffs. How do you size both of those up? Well, uh, you, you'll hear me say this every year, but I think our, our GWAC league is one of the toughest from top to bottom in the state. Uh, it seems like every year we've got a team from our league that's in the quarterfinals or semifinals and uh, are making a deep run in the playoffs. So our league's tough. It's physical. And, uh, you know, we've been working hard in the weight room so that we can compete in that league. And if you can in our league, you can compete against pretty much anyone in the state. So uh, the district is going to be uh, tough again. You know, Scott City's always good. Colby's good. Um, and then you get uh, us and Russell and Beloit. Um, there's just a lot of good teams to play, and we're excited about it. We're excited about the challenge. I think uh, our goal this year is to try and get into the playoffs for the first time in five or six years. So our, our team's been focused and ready to get going and, and chase our goals. Where does the leadership come for uh, to uh, for you on this team? Uh, we've got great leadership. Um, that's one thing when we took uh, took this program over, uh, our coaching staff said we needed to, to improve was to try and get some leaders uh, to lead by example, but also be vocal with our guys and get our young guys motivated and bought in. And uh, we have a, a nice group of seniors, not a big group, but a good group of seniors that have been bought in. Uh, and then we got some uh, some younger guys, juniors and sophomores that are stepping up in that leadership role too. So uh, that's something we're really excited about this year. You know, the season's a couple of weeks away, uh, September the 6th, I believe. Everybody starts the season. But uh, the traditional soap scrimmages are a little different this year. Uh, talk about that. Uh, yeah, uh, the Coaches Association, we've been talking for two years now about this jamboree setup and uh, how, you know, the, the scrimmages are kind of old now as far as being innovative because you got a lot of seniors playing against a lot of young people. Um, inter injuries happen in those scrimmages and we want to get a real test for our team before the season starts. So we've been working on this thing for two years. A lot of people spearheaded it and did a great job and, and here we are. we got a schedule now with the Jamboree. So we'll play uh, Colby and Norton and Ellis uh, on the 30th and uh, we're excited to, to go see how that works. All right, listen. Well, good luck to you throughout the season. We'll follow you, the Cowboys, as you uh, look forward to the 2019 football season. Thank you. Appreciate it, uh, Rich. Thanks for your coverage, man, and we appreciate it. All right, Coach Topliff of the Goodland Cowboys, brought to you by Farm Credit of Western Kansas on OpenSpacesSports.com.